Everybody want a new thing. Kick it if you like it. Everybody want a new thing. Welcome back to the Pop Warner Super Bowl. Let it be Valley. Team out of Pennsylvania battling Illinois' Lockport Junior Porters. Drew Filio, Serena Angolia, Tom James, and our fabulous crew here with you for the entire day of action. Game three of four on this busy day three. These the semifinals. Nicholas Cantone right there for the Lockport Junior Porters. On defense, Lockport with an impressive drive, just one pass. But that one pass good for the touchdown is Matthew Ogian right there. Gets set defensively. First down now from the 44. In motion, Stevie Davis. Davis gets the handoff. Wants to throw, and it's incomplete as he looked for Dylan Rotundo. Good idea, just couldn't get it there. Well, I like the play call, but I like the recognition by Lockport on defense as well. They saw it coming, they were in good position, and it falls incomplete. Michael Doneski, number 45, right there along the defensive line. Happy birthday to number 44, Nathan Boylan, who we're going to see also in this game. Just turning 13. Brings up second down. Run it this time. This is Eli Bain. Bain has got really good speed, and he knows where to go with the football. You know, Rene, you are running back, and I love his vision. You're 100% right. It's, it's a feel. He's got really nice vision. I like the pocket where he takes the handoff, and then right here he's going to get north and south. Got, has the ball nice and tight, high and secure, high and tight, and just feeling his way through it. You don't have to be a blazer with speed to be a quality running back. You just have to be able to set up your blocks and just have that vision. You just you either have it or you don't. And that young man, Beam, nice job. Look at the offensive line for Lenape Valley. Michael O'Hanlon lining up on the left side. And now Patrick Keller out of the shotgun on third and four. Keller wants to throw. Got a man downfield. Off his fingertips. Good effort by Rotundo that time, but just couldn't reel it in. Well, and he had two receivers out there. He had Rotundo. Looked like he had another receiver he could have went to as well. So obviously, they're seeing something. Coach Coleman in the throwing game there's a lot more throwing in this possession than the first one for Lenape Valley and of course fourth and four you're going to go for it here this spot in the field so really contrast of two styles Lenape Valley mainly going to the passing game here in the first half Lockport meanwhile grinding yards up on the ground and then going over the top one time John Zerwinski pacing up and down his defense needs a stop here Let it be Valley needs four. Keller rolling right, waiting for his man to break. Keller's going to take it himself. No, that's Davis on the wildcat. And again, Stevie Davis getting five critical yards to move the chains. Yeah, they brought Stevie Davis, and he's got great feet. That was a pass play. You could tell he had his head up. He was looking. He had receivers in the route as he rolls to the right and just decides, you know what, I'm going to tuck this thing and go. He knows he needs to cut it back up, get to that first down marker, and he does it, and it keeps the drive alive for Lenape Valley. Coach March Coleman, an impressive showing by the offense here in the first half, and our other score, Deer Valley Sparks, Palm Beach Garden Gators, the same, not at an eight. Everybody with an eight spot here so far. Run this one left. And there is the running back, Eli Bain again. Watch the speed. He's got it down to the 13-yard line, knocked out there by Romello Green. Yeah, I talked about Bain earlier setting up blocks. He's going to press the line of scrimmage is what I love. And after he presses it, he bounces it to the outside. He's going to hit it, bounce it to the left, and he's got the ball on the outside arm, high and tight, beautifully. And that's a nice run. You'll see so many running backs try to bounce it early, Drew, instead of pressing the hole, pressing the line of scrimmage. What that does is it sucks the defender up. Once you press it, then you bounce it. Excellent job right there. 